Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope everybody's doing great. I have little Rebel here and our little cutesy pootsy uh, Noah. And they wanted to come outside for a little bit. So I thought, and they wanted, they wanted to change their clothes. They've had these on for a while. Noah wants jammies on. He just wants some kind of, Rebel wants some kind of jumper on or something. So, you know what? I live out here and nowhere in land. <laughs> and no one's around. So I think I can go ahead and, and, uh, and change them out here. Who cares? <laughs> Let's start with little Noah. Uh, little Noah is a Paradise Gallery. Going on, I know everyone knows little Noah. Um, you have to be under a rock if you don't know little Noah. He is an amazing little boy. Little Down Syndrome boy. I love this little guy. He is so sweet. Uh, he just has the sweetest smile. Oh, he's just, he's an amazing little, a little guy. I'm going to set him down here on my lap here. And uh, I'm going to take his little outfit off here. <laughs> oh, you guys look at Rebel. <laughs> rebel. He's something else. And he is a rebel. He is a little stinker and the instigator of the boys. But that's okay. Um, I like it that way. <laughs> so, um, so this is a kind of the beginning of the week sort of the Tuesday and uh, you know does everybody get excited about the weekend coming well this weekend here it's gonna be cold <laughs> and I mean cold um, supposed to get down and it's supposed to frost here I got to bring some of my flowers in and recover some up and um, and um, my plants that I house plants that I have outside. I'm gonna bring them in tonight probably tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna to be our last warm day for a little while. It's gonna drop down, but this weekend it's gonna be the high probably in the in the daytime will be forty, maybe fifty if we're lucky at nighttime down in the twenties. So uh you know that's kinda of cold for us around here. Um and so but that's all right. I'm not going to complain. I am not going to. I'm going to try my best not to complain. <laughs> so um, I'm putting this outfit on him uh, that my daughter-in-law actually knew I would just fall in love with. Um, the Harry Potter PJs. Um, you, you guys probably already seen it. But we love Harry Potter around here. Um, we... We watch it every time. I mean, I have the videos, but every time it's on TV or something, I'll go ahead and stop and say, well, let's watch that. That and another thing I have a habit of watching is Twilight. I know you guys are going to go, what? Yeah, I read all the Twilight books, read all the Harry Potter books, read all the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbits. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard of Clam the Cave Bear. That is actually a really good book. Uh, books, I should say. Um, let's see. I love Anne Rice. I've read all the vampire and all the, her witch trilogies, um, which has been pretty good. I might go back and, and watch some another one sometime. But here he is in his Harry Potter PJs. Gryffindor! <laughs> and he loves it. But he... Uh, Wants to tell everybody, all of his doll friends out there, hi. He, uh, he's can't wait until the holidays, Halloween. Um, I don't know. I haven't really asked them all what they want to be. Um, he might want to be, he always wants to be a superhero, and he is a superhero uh, on his own. So... I have already, you've seen, like, he's got Batman on right now. The Rebel does. I've got a couple of super superhero outfits. But isn't, isn't he a doll baby? I just love him to death. But he has this Harry Potter, and, and it came with a blanket. Um, it came with, I can't remember what else. Oh, a bib and something else, something else. But 
It's very cute. Okay, come here, stinker. We're going to put another outfit on little Rebel here. We're going to take his Bengals off right now. His Bengals uh, house shoes, which he loves. He may make me put them back on him. He sits and watches the Bengals with Mommy, don't you, honey? <laughs> Look at that. You can, I'm a, you can see his little tongue. He, he's wanting to stick it out, but uh, I don't know what makes him not. <laughs> so, um, anybody have any fall plans? What What is your hobbies for to do for Halloween? Um, I I used to when I, I you know mom could go somewhere. I, I'd go to, or I'd get somebody to sit with mom. Uh, I would go down to my daughter's house and and meet her there and. Um, I would either hand out their candy for them or walk the kids, but the the kids are about big enough now. Except maybe they they won't set their daughter loose, although she's eleven. They, her big brother um, Caleb would probably walk around with her. But I used to go up down there and have so much fun. I'd dress up and hand out candy, and um, but I I just really don't get to do that kind of stuff right now. Um, love my mom's heart. I can't you know, do stuff like that, but that's, but that's okay, she's my mom, and I'm grateful to still have her in my life, so, um, and I'm gonna put this on, this is a Carter's, um, little outfit, it's a little jumper, it's got bears on it, and moose, and a skunk, and fox, he loves anything outdoors, I, I, all my kids kind of like the outdoors, um, don't you guys? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this I'd like to know. Uh, I used to uh, I used to decorate my house so crazy with with uh, for Halloween, and I used to have. I'll show you all these woods. I have five acres, and I know probably three or four acres probably three four acres of it is woods and I have I would have a haunted woods it was so fun uh, the kids really loved it I mean I had a lot of people come and um, we would make little funny things in the in the woods I even my husband even built a coffin and when the kids would come through there uh, whoever was doing the coffin that day would hop up out of that coffin and scare him to death. I I had uh, my sister play a witch. Um, before we even got to go to the woods, we had to say, I had to say, which of the woods, uh, can we have passage, safe passage through your through your woods? And um, of course she would lead the way and then she'd hide and then jump out at the kids. <laughs> it was so funny. I made a rule that they couldn't touch the kids because I didn't want them terrified, you know, or anything like that, but they loved it. They wanted to go through it two or three times. Um, the other thing is I have a cauldron at the end of it and I'd, uh, have, um, it looked like smoke was coming out of the dry ice. And if they got through the, they got it anyway, but when they got, got through the haunted woods, I would give them a bag of candy and then they, we'd gather at the, um, fire. I have a fire pit out there. The fire would already be going. They'd all gather around and I would tell them the story of Halloween. They loved it. We had treats. We we um, um, made hot dogs over the fire. We we had marshmallows and oh, we had so much fun. Um, I miss those days. Um, I really do. And and I don't know. Maybe someday I might do that again. Of course, you need a lot of help setting up. And we even had we had an old truck that sat back in the woods and we put a skeleton in, the, in it with a hat on. Uh, <laughs> the kids would crack up and I had a hidden, um, like a, I don't know where I, it's like a tape recorder, not a tape recorder. It was something to play music and it, it was taped to me where you couldn't see it. I had a cape on uh, and it would play sp spooky music as we walked, but it went with me because it was on me. <laughs> That was so cool. We did have the path roped out so no kids could get 
over where they're not supposed to because you can get lost of those in those woods. To be honest with you, I'll tell you a true story. Uh, my husband was back there and it was pretty thick, a little bit thicker than it is now, right now. But um, he was back in the woods uh, looking at our stakes, you know, where they, uh, where we had it surveyed and stuff. And I, I was in the house for a little while and I come back out and I thought, I wonder where he's at. And um, my, my cell phone rang and <laughs> he's like, Robin, I'm back in the woods. Can you yell for me so I know which way to go? <laughs> so uh, I went to the edge of the woods and I whistled for him and yelled for him. And finally he, uh, he found, he found his way. He found his way out. He has no sense of direction. And for him, we used to have a limousine service. And for him to be a limousine driver, he had no sense of direction. He had, oh, I mean, he did good. We had a lot of fun doing it, but uh, it was something fun for him to do. And he's met a lot of people that way, but he has no sense of direction, really. So, but um, we had a lot of fun. And anyway, as for me going into to, um, haunted houses, I don't do haunted houses. <laughs> I'll do them, but I won't go in them. I don't, I, I used to be such a scaredy cat as a, a little girl. Uh, I would have my dad check in my closet, under my bed, and everything before I would go to bed. <laughs> but it was kind of my fault. I would stay up with my dad rest his soul I would stay up with him and we'd watch them old you remember them old um, vampire movies Dracula's the with um, Boris Karloff and then the, the werewolf movies um, I don't know if you remember even Michael Landon played a, a, a werewolf back in the day in one of his first movies when he was young but anyway get off subject uh, I am just a chicken yeah I am not as bad as I used to be, okay? But, you know. But, uh, here's my little rebel. I'm going to put him back down there so you can see. Here's my little rebel. He's in his little outfit. Doesn't he look nice? Say hi. Hi, everybody. Blow him a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, it'd be fun to uh, hear uh, how you all celebrate Halloween. Uh, I just don't get to celebrate it too much anymore, but I do watch, I did, I'd like to watch uh, Halloween shows, like I just watched the uh, new Hocus Pocus 2. Um, I'm not going to say in case nobody else seen it yet, but um, I liked it. It was cute, and I love Bette Midler, and um, you know, I love all three of them ladies, and you've got to hand it to them. Bette's in her 70s. Uh, the, the the one with the dark hair. I can't remember her name. I feel awful about that. But um, she's in her 60s. And then the, other, the blonde is in the, her 50s. So they did a pretty good job. But I, I, li I just like the first one better. Um, I think. You know, he would look cute as a girl, wouldn't he? <laughs> I think somebody's done that before. Um, but anyhow... I watch a lot of that. I'm, you know what we're going to be hearing pretty soon. Soon as Halloween is over, maybe even before, we're going to start hearing Christmas music, which I love Christmas music. But I think they should wait till at least November the 1st. What do you think? I mean, I like to hear it when I'm going, like, Christmas shopping. I think it's fun. But he's my little guy. I just love him. Well, I've gabbed enough, I believe. And, uh... If y'all visit, if y'all are repeaters coming back to and watch my videos, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. And if you're new, all like and subscribe and share maybe, you know. Uh, we have a lot of fun. I have a blast. And I love our community. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, if I you know, don't get to do any more videos or, um, you know, if you don't get to come back on here. So you guys have a, a nice, beautiful week. 
and I'll, I'll talk to you all later. Love you. Love and light. Be kind to one another and yourself. Bye-bye.